everyone, this is Tiffany with Raising House and Home. And what you are seeing is just part of one of my largest prepper hauls to date. So I hope that you'll join me on my video and get some ideas for your prepper pantry and some ideas on the prices that are out there right now. So I decided um, during spring break that I was going to take the time to clean out my pantry and all of my storage areas and see what might be lacking in my prepper pantry stock. And I did find quite a few holes in um, some of my stocks. So I decided with the prices going up that I would kind of price compare between my um, Walmart and Sam's and my local grocery store and I was going to stock up on the items that I felt I was lacking. So part of this um, is on the table and I'll show you. This is all that we have so far um, on the table, but then <laughs> there's more, just wait. I have more stuff coming in the mail. So I wanted to show you guys everything that I found that I really, really feel that needs to be stocked up in our prepper pantries and that are kind of inexpensive, but they make a huge difference. So let's get started over here. So I have these ramen noodle um, packages. I'm not a fan of them. I know they're not very healthy, but I do have a teenager in the house who enjoys them um, during the weekend and I have another child who also will eat them. Um, we have our own recipes that we don't use the little packets. Um, we make like a butter garlic sauce for them. But I thought that, you know, it would be a good idea to have these in our prepper pantry because it is a quick meal and you can do so many different things with them. Um, so, and they last forever. So <laughs> we definitely wanted to grab some more of those to add to our stock and it is a rotating stock. Like I said, we don't use these very often, so um, they don't move too quickly in my pantry. Um, so I think that two boxes would be enough to continue our rotating stock. And then down here, I have four chicken stuffings. And part of the reason I bought this was price. It was like 88 cents. Um, they have gone up over a dollar before. So right now with the 88 cent price point, um, I thought it would be a good idea to grab some. And this of course isn't that healthy either, but it does have um, some like dried, I think celery in it and some herbs. And this is a good starter for any of your pantry meals that you might need to make. And it's comforting um, if there is a situation that's an emergency that you might need to get into your pantry. This would be a comfort food that has lots of flavor and it could help with your canned chicken or even like canned turkey or anything like that um, to spruce it up. So I got four boxes of those. I may get more, um, but we'll see what the dates are and how that all works out. I got two of the creamers and I did price check those with uh, Sam's Club and it was cheaper um, to get the Walmart version. You can check out both uh, Walmart and Sam's Club online and see the prices and do your own price calculations um, and see if it is a good deal in your area. And then I got some more of the dried um, potatoes and these are, are awesome. They're all in their own little pouch and they last for a really long time. I just wanna see, I got some that were uh, Walmart brand. These are cheaper um, and this is good till 2023. And let's see about the brand name when they're good till, if we can find it. Okay, and that's also in 2023. Not going to be any different really if you buy the Great Value brand versus the Idahoan because they're pretty comparable, I think. I don't think there's too much of a difference in the flavor. I would have purchased more Great Value brand, but they were out of stock and this was the only flavor they had available. And I was able to get these. This was an online order. Um, so if you're not doing an online order, I would check the back stock to see if the dates are different. If you can get um, items that are a little bit further out for their dates, and that will also help save your money. And then over here, now I was watching, I think there was two different um, preppers that I watched 
and they showed that they got these drink mixes and I don't know why I never thought of it before. I have coffee, some coffee, and I have some like Propel drink uh, powders that we use daily pretty much, um, but I didn't have anything like this. So I did go ahead and pick up this lemonade and I got two of them and these little cans. And I like that they're about the same size as my Augustine Farms um, canned food so I can just stack them together and it helps save space. I also picked up this big thing of um, coffee. It is not my husband's favorite, but it was what they had in stock for this price point um, and this size. So I went ahead and grabbed that just to keep on hand. And then over here, I picked up some bullion and I have three of the beef and three of the chicken. And I really researched these because I didn't want um, bullion that was like all fake and fake coloring and all of that stuff because if you're not used to eating a whole lot of that and you're in a, an emergency situation, you don't want to introduce that stuff to your body and like feel gross and all of that. So I did my best to try to find um, the healthiest version of these bullion. And I did spend, I think, a dollar more a can for that, um, but it was worth it to me. So all of these expire in 2023. But as we know, that is just a suggest <laughs> just a suggestion. Um, and as long as it's closed up and still wrapped up, I'm not concerned with using it after that date. And I got these because I figured, you know, we have all this rice and pasta and things like that. And this would really help to give more of flavoring. And we could make soups with our freeze dried vegetables and all of that. So I thought this would be a really good idea to have on hand. And then I got the vegetable shortening. And I realized that, you know, I, I mostly cook with butter. I'm not, I don't usually cook with vegetable shortening, but I figured it would be good to have it on hand for things like biscuits and all of that. So I did grab one um, can because I won't be using it and I think it would go to waste. And I think maybe if it expires, I might use it for like candle oil. Um, there's some great videos on YouTube how to make candles out of vegetable shortening the safe way. Um, so I think that's what I'll do if it expires and goes rancid uh, before I use it. And I got two things of ketchup. Again, that is part of our rotating storage. We use this, you know, pretty much all the time <laughs> with the kids. So I try to keep at least two extras on hand. We could make our own out of spaghetti sauce if we needed to in an emergency. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, and I got one box of the au gratin potatoes because that's all that they had available. They had a limit of one. So I don't know if that means they were just only had one in stock or what that meant, but I got one. <laughs> and then I got a two pack of Spam and I got these Vienna sausages. And the reason why I got these, I, I'm not a big fan. Um, my boys might eat them a little bit, um, but I got them because we have a lot of tuna fish and a lot of canned chicken, but not so much like a variety of other type of meats. So I figured I would just start slowly um, because it is expensive right now for canned meat. Um, so I figured I would slowly just start getting a little bit more variety meats. And so I got this uh, six pack case. And then over here, I got some more of these pasta sides. We use them in rice sides. Um, we use them once in a while. Uh, so, you know, I do try to rotate them and it's a great thing to have on hand. It's, it's super inexpensive. It stores really easy. They last a long time and they have a lot of flavor. And again, it would be like a comfort food as well. And then over here, I got um, six cans of the flavored meat sauce, pasta sauce from Great Value. And um, these were only 88 cents again. So they're much cheaper than the other flavors. They do this once in a while. I think it might be that they get like more in stock of a certain flavor. So they try to um, lower the price and help kind of alleviate that, that uh, overstock. And so I did um, pick uh, six more up of those. I will keep getting more of that because we do use those um, pretty much weekly. We use one or two jars. 
And then over here, I got some more uh, unsweetened applesauce. And I bought this because you can use this for replacing eggs and oil in your baked goods. And it does give you a lot more nutrients from like a fruit source. That would be great if there was an emergency situation or a food shortage situation, um, especially fresh fruit shortages. So I went ahead and grabbed this. I have quite a bit, but I figured if I'm gonna use it for cooking and not just eating, that I should pick up some more. So that's another thing that I will be rotating out and using um, more of. And then over here, I got three of these uh, cocos and I had noticed that I have some baking stuff, but anything that's like for brownies or cakes or anything, I didn't have that much of. And this was only like $1.98. And I prefer Hershey's, but at this price, it was like half the price of the Hershey's cocoa or even less than half the price. So I figured I would grab three of these to keep in my pantry. And you can do all kinds of things with that. And then again, with the meat situation, I did got some of the canned roast beef and it is much more watery than the previous years that I purchased it. So I think they're adding more liquid than beef, but of course I can't say for 100% sure, but that's what it sounds like um, to me. So, you know, take that in, and keep that in mind when you are shopping for things to put away. You might need to buy two cans instead of one um, to equal enough to feed your family for a meal. And then I got two more cans of SpaghettiOs meatballs. I've had a hard time finding these. When I went to Sam's Club, I was looking for like the palette of them and they didn't have any. And I also used to be able to buy like a pack of four at Walmart, they didn't have them. So I was able to get two cans and that was it. Um, and I'll just keep looking for those. And then I did get a um, can of cranberry sauce because you can use that to put on meat. You can use it for all different things. And it is really has a lot of different types of vitamins and minerals for you. So it's again, it's another type of um, canned fruit. And I like the fact that it doesn't eat at the can like a pineapple, like pineapple slices eat the can that you're storing and can sometimes leak. Um, this won't do that. And then I got these Simply Fruit um, Raspberry Made From Real Fruit Preserves. I got three of them. Uh, I had actually only bought one and then I had ordered um, like a regular uh, raspberry jelly and they'd substituted two of these jars for one of those. So that's fine because we'll eat them. Um, and this is something that we can rotate in our pantry. And I wanted to get them because you can make cookies with them. You can make little cakes with them. You can make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You can make toast, all of those things, um, which would be really helpful in any type of situation where you might need to use your food pantry. And again, over here, I wanted to get some different flavors. I got some blueberry and this one is a blackberry. And then of course we have the traditional grape. So I got those and I'm going to can my own jelly, uh, but it just is going to take a little bit longer because it's not really berry season yet. We forage for blackberries and red raspberries. We have them all over our neighborhood um, and into the trails. So we do like to go and pick them and it's free and then I make some jelly and I didn't do it uh, last year. I think we were too late, um, but we have done it previous years and I also make um, pancake syrup out of the berries as well. And then over here, goes along with the theme of baking. I needed some more um, chocolate chips because this is something that we use very often. And so I have a container that I put in my pantry and I, my goal is to keep it full. So when I take one out, I'm gonna purchase another one and just keep rotating the stock and make sure that we have um, that pretty stocked. And same thing with brown sugar. It has its own container in my pantry. And when I take one bag out, I'm going to buy another one and replace it. And then I got some vinegar because I do use this a lot and you can use it for so many things. You can use it for cooking and cleaning 
and all of those things um, and it keeps really well and stays um, stays good for a long time so I got two of those and I did get two more things of water um, I'm not too concerned about water because I do have a well but um, I do like to keep a little bit of bottled water on hand so I just grab some every other shopping trip or so and then I got some mustard because we were really low on that and I only got four because we don't use it enough to really warrant um, filling up with it like this would probably last us a year so to me that's pretty stocked in our pantry and then I got another big 20 pounds of rice I have quite a bit of rice already so what I've started doing is once I use up 20 pounds I go buy 20 more pounds to replace it so I have used up almost um, my last 20 pound bag um, that I opened and so now I'm replacing it with this so when I was talking to you guys uh, previously in this video with my other part of my haul on the table, uh, the mailman came with some of my other items, so it worked out perfectly. And so I cleared everything off, and now I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff that I got in this haul. And I'll show you first what came in the mail. So in the mail, I got a case of the um, canned chicken and I had noticed that I had quite a bit of chicken, but I have been using it for different recipes to try out. So I wanted to make sure that I replaced the things that I've been using. So I bought a case of that and it was actually pretty inexpensive. Um, and then over here, I got a thing of vegetable oil. I've been doing a lot more baking and I noticed in my pantry that I was getting a little bit low. So I went and bought one jug of that and then here's a non-food item. I got this lamp oil, which is supposed to be odorless and smokeless. We'll see. I have a very sensitive nose when it comes to those things. Um, and we usually use, um, it's a different kind. I don't know the name of it, um, but it's, it's a little bit cleaner. So we'll see if this one uh, can hold up. I'm gonna test it out a little bit. Um, but we have plenty of oil lanterns and lamps and I had noticed that we didn't have that much lamp oil and I wanted to have a little bit more in our stocks. So that came in the mail and I also got this in the mail. Uh, it was some strawberry jam. I don't know why they didn't have it at the store, but they didn't. So they decided to ship it to me. <laughs> and I had also purchased these um, lighters but this was not um, in the mail. This actually came in my pickup order because they won't ship lighter fluid and all of those things. So, which is probably a good idea since I had the lamp oil in the box. <laughs> so this came in the box as well. My other food processor broke and I've been holding out for a while, but I decided to just take the leap and purchase it. I have some meat that I would like to grind and that I want to can on my own. So I did decide to grab that. And then down here, I have so many frozen vegetables that I purchased. I have more in my freezer. I just don't wanna fight with it right now to open it <laughs> and to show you. Um, but this is mostly what I got. I got the mixed vegetables. I got some sweet peas. I got some green beans and corn and more green beans. And I have um, some broccoli there. I'm trying to think. I think that it's mostly um, green beans that I have left in the freezer and I got these because I am going to dehydrate them and it's super simple to dehydrate frozen veggies so I will be doing a video on that um, and also we do eat um, frozen vegetables nightly so I did need to stock up um, for our supply of frozen veggies and then over here I have got more toothpaste and we're pretty stocked up. Again, this is all about trying to fill the holes where I'm seeing them. And um, so I only need to buy about a three pack every month or so. And it's really been keeping up our supply and just rotating what I already had. I think I have about a year or two's worth of toothpaste. So I'm just gonna continue um, getting our one package a month and rotating. And then I got one package of toilet paper. And I know people are like, oh, you're prepping. Don't you need more toilet paper than that? Nope, we don't. Um, this is just what we basically need for 
maybe two and a half, maybe three weeks. Um, and we just are not stocking up on toilet paper like we did during the pandemic or even before the pandemic, we were pretty stocked up. Um, and what the pandemic taught us is that you don't really need toilet paper. It's kind of a waste of storage and, and money. So we have other systems um, to help us if we were not able to get toilet paper. And one of that is these washcloths. And we haven't had to use them yet, but we would if we find ourselves in a situation where we can't get toilet paper again um, and where maybe money might be tight. Uh, during some emergency situation and supplies are hard to come by, I would rather buy the food with that money than toilet paper. So this is one of the options that we have um, if you do have to use cloth instead of toilet paper. And I like the darker colors because, well, I don't have to explain, <laughs> but it's better to have darker colors if you're going to use um, washcloths for toileting purposes. Uh, you could use white, which you could just bleach um, so it would be easier to clean and to sanitize if you want to just stick with the white. Um, and then over here, I got another package of the big black uh, multi-purpose drawstring bags. I did not have enough in my, my prepper pantry and I wanted to make sure that we had some of those on hand because that is really valuable in an emergency situation. This is um, quite a bit. I still have more coming in the mail. I ordered um, some salt and I can't remember what else is supposed to be coming, um, but there has been like some salt shortages. So I just um, ordered um, four containers of salt. I already have quite a bit. So I feel confident that four would be enough for our year to year pantry. And we will just replace one at a time as we use them up. So that made me feel really good that those are on the way. Um, and so that's about it for this. And it wasn't too expensive. I thought it was going to be pretty expensive, especially where I bought an appliance. Um, but it was about 260. So all of this plus the salt um, that's coming in the mail um, was around 260. And I did also get chicken, which we're using tonight. So not everything has been shown because it's not for my prepper pantry. It's just for us to, to have <laughs> for the week um, and some sushi as well. We got some frozen sushi that is not included in this. So I, I think I did pretty good um, filling in the holes at that price. I mean, under $300 with the inflation that's been going on, I'm feeling really happy with everything that we purchased and how much I saved. So definitely check your preps. It's springtime, spring cleaning's coming. Go through your closets, go through your cupboards, start pulling the things closer to the front that might be expiring soon. Make a list of things that you've used through the winter that you might need to buy a few more of just to keep it stocked. Um, it's super simple to maintain your pantry this way. And I hope that this video has given you some ideas on what to look for in your pantry and how to save some money while you fill it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click subscribe below. Hit like if you like this video. Also, you can click the bell to be notified when I put up videos. And I thank you all so much for all of your comments and everything. Be happy. Be safe, be healthy, and until next time, bye everyone.